Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, got a special treat today. I picked up these Dianarios Evoke 20s from a local uh, music shop here. Um, let me bring them home for a few days, test them out, compare them to the JBL's HDI 1600. Now these are made in Denmark. Uh, this is a gloss white. It's got a magnetic grill and they has a seven inch mid base and a one inch, I think it's a little over one inch, 28 millimeter um, soft dome tweeter. Uh, seems pretty well made. I don't think it's any different, I mean, any better built wise than the JBLs. JBLs are pretty well built. Um, I've always wanted Dynaudios. I uh, always like the sound, their imaging. Uh, always been a real good speaker company. And um, I want to try these out. I got a few days. I got to see if it's worth, to tell you the truth, if I were to keep these, it would be an extra grand to what I paid for those. And uh, justify the extra one thousand dollars here. These are actually, I think, it's twenty four hundred bucks, brand new. This was an open box, so I got it cheaper, but it still comes out to be almost um, an extra thousand dollars after taxes. But the guy's cool. He told me, you know, take them home, check it out, compare them, and see what you think. Now they have a frequency crossover at thirty two hundred hertz. And they weigh about, let's say about 20 pounds each, or 9.9 .9 kilos. Uh, they're very, uh, they're about the same size as the JBLs. Uh, I don't see them being any bigger, maybe about the same size, or maybe a little smaller. But... Nanario does have a good reputation. Uh, I remember when I was back in the 90s, I went to a local uh, stereo place here downtown. And for the first time I heard Don Adios. I think they've been around since 1972, but boy, I will never forget how those speakers sound. And I guess for the first time, I'd be able, I had the emits here for a bit. Uh, I actually just, wasn't too happy with them, I guess. I'm not sure, but they were okay. Uh, I actually ended up sending those back and I kept those uh, silver monitors. And the really, reason why, because I got the silver monitors for a real good price. But I got to make a decision. I'm going to see well, if these are worth the extra grand to keep than the JBLs. And I'm going to hook them up, do a little test, and see how they sound. All right, guys, see you later. Thanks, join the channel and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll put some demos up later, okay? Thank you.